Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be using these two examples and talking about any lasers autofocus and why you can get a ghosting effect similar to this illustration here if you try engraving twice in the same area here. So we're going to use our imagination today. We're going to say we placed a blank sheet of wood into this machine here. And like I said, it can be any laser, whether it's Glowforge, X-Tool, we create Galvo lasers, CO2 lasers, diode lasers, Anything with an autofocus, this is gonna be an issue on, and I'm gonna go ahead and share this tip with you guys. It's probably been mentioned many, many times, many hundreds of times in groups before, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody make a video on it. So I wanted to make a video on it and share with you guys this tip because it's a very important tip to know. So let's imagine that I put this blank sheet in there, and then these are the two images that I engrave on the actual blank wood itself. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take that wood out and then they'll hope that it falls out and looks good like this and it's engraved deep and dark and perfect exactly how they want it. But a lot of times you'll find that this didn't fall out, the cutout won't fall out and the engraving is just too light. So you wanna darken it up. So what people will then do is they'll take their now engraved sheet, they'll put it back in the unit, hit autofocus, this will lower again and then the image on the screen, as you can see, there's a panda on the screen here. You may not be able to see it that far away, but it's this same panda that's on the screen. That image will then shift just slightly. So what your first reaction is gonna do is you're going to want to grab that image and then overlap it with this engraving so it lands perfectly from what it looks like in the software. Well, that's the wrong thing to do. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you try to align that from the software here, but there's a different autofocus height because you slightly engraved some areas here, then that image is gonna be slightly shifted because of this fish eye camera lens here. So instinctively, I know you wanna pull this out of the machine right away, but if you're working with a new type of material, you don't know settings and you've only got one shot, technically you got two shots with this trick here. So, or maybe even more if you just follow this trick here. So what I mean by that is let's say you put your blank material in. So now it's blank, you put it in, you hit engrave, it engraves this panda and this other logo here. Those are the two images that you have on there. What you wanna do is don't take it out of the machine. Don't touch it, just shine a flashlight down into your machine. See if this looks dark enough for your engraving and use a piece of tape right over top of your engraving and see if this pulls out. If it doesn't pull out, leave it there, and then you can hit cut again in the same spot. But if you have to autofocus again, you'll click autofocus, it'll then lower, and then this image is gonna look off center. Do not move this image. That image is technically exactly where it landed before, but your autofocus is throwing off the image on your fisheye camera. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain that, but whenever you do an autofocus, if it's not measuring the exact measurement, your, your fisheye camera lens is going to show it shifted in the software. I know you're gonna want to instinctively grab that image, line it up with this, and then hit print. Don't do that, just leave it exactly where it is, click print, and it should land exactly on top if you did not move this board at all in this, this hardware, whatever your hardware is, whatever laser you're using. Um, the only reason why I'm using the WeCreate is the WeCreate does such a high autofocus here automatically. So you, you could have a lot of movement in this camera here based on that. That's the only reason why I'm using the WeCreate. But it happens a lot on Glowforges as well. Um, and it can happen on Galvo lasers. The nice thing about Galvo lasers is you have the framing feature for the outline, which makes it even easier, but you can still get that ghosting effect there. So hopefully that helps you guys out, but essentially it's the same thing with cutting, if I didn't already mention that, is if this did not pop out here, leave your cut line exactly where it is, do autofocus, and then recut with a deeper power, should then pop out with a, the clean cut, and a darker engraving. And that's how you can get more than one shot at a single piece of material here. That's one of my most helpful tips out there that a lot of people will try to explain in text or chat, um, but I've never seen it explained in a video before. So 
Hopefully that helped you out. If you guys wanna see a more detailed video than just me talking about it here, let me know. I'll try to get some extra time to, to actually film the process of putting it in there, doing a really light engraving, and then doing another darker engraving. But I think you guys can use your imagination there for that. If you can't and you want a better video, let me know down in the comments below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.